Kansas City School District filed legal action, which some believe could block a state agency from investigating why a disabled 14-year-old was raped while at school. It happened last year at the Southwest Early College campus and led to two teenagers' arrests. One allegedly raped the girl while the other stood lookout. 41 Action News investigator Melissa Yeager joins us with those new developments. Well, Krista, the family of the disabled teen has both a civil case and a civil rights complaint pending. But the Kansas City Public School District has filed motions that some believe would essentially stop the investigation of that complaint. She was hurting so bad, um, she, could, she couldn't go to the bathroom. Last July, 41 Action News interviewed the mother of the 14-year-old who was struggling to understand how this could happen to her daughter who has autism. Under her individual education plan, the teen was supposed to be supervised due to her tendency to wander. We sat in a room with the principal and the teacher and me. And I asked her, I said, what happened that day that my daughter was not in your hands? Prosecutors charged two students with taking the girl to an unused second story of the building, which is supposed to be securely locked and under surveillance. One is accused of standing watch, while the other raped her repeatedly. It's the second rape reported at the school, the first one in 2013. The family believes the Kansas City Public School District knew about gaps in security, like malfunctioning cameras, unlocked doors, and lack of supervision, and never took steps to correct those problems. They filed both a civil lawsuit and a civil rights complaint with the Missouri Commission on Human Rights. But this week, attorneys for the district filed to have the case moved to federal court and sealed. Attorney Tim Dollar represents the family. He told us his firm has already taken great steps to protect the identity of their client. We've never taken steps, uh, nor would we, to protect the circumstances of the issues and the conduct that is alleged to have occurred in this case. The district also filed for an injunction to keep the Commission on Human Rights from investigating the civil rights complaint. That's what the public record reveals. So I guess you'll have to ask the district why they don't want to be investigated and why they believe that as a public entity they should not be investigated. The Kansas City Public School District wouldn't speak on camera but says they are not trying to dodge the investigation. They're just asking the depart that the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education to handle the investigation, saying, quote, the action taken, if successful, will only change the state agency that would hear the initial complaint, in this case, the agency with the experience and expertise in this area of the law. That doesn't appear to be what the state is interpreting this as anyway. The Missouri Attorney General's Office will represent the state in court and told us, quote, the Attorney General's Office will aggressively defend the state's ability to investigate this allegation of abuse. I'm Investigator Melissa Yeager, 41 Action News.